So maybe you've been looking on Facebook and you've seen your friends are posting pictures. They've been on holiday to Cornwall in the vans. Or maybe they've just been to a VW show and you're thinking, I would really like a piece of that. No, I haven't got a massive budget. I can't afford these luxuries. Well, maybe you can. Our recommendation to you would be the Humble T4. Camper vans will start you yeah, at about £3,000 up to about £10,000-£11,000 for a full factory conversion. One thing to work out for though on the T4 is these, the wheel archers. A lot of people don't know this but they have a lip because they've got no plastic in them and they gather mud that's why you always see T4s with blisters all over here because people just don't clean them out The best thing for me about the T4 is the drive. It drives really, really nicely. It's more like a car than a van. You've got power steering, you sat up high, in your elevated position, you've got good visibility all the way around. Now, if you're looking and you're thinking, well, to be honest, I can't really afford to run two vehicles, one to go camping and one to go working, this could be a solution. They are an ideal vehicle. So one of the problems with these earlier T4s is that the brakes, though they're not dangerous, but on the earlier T4 they're just not very clever. So this is my friend Kev's van, as you can see, it's a nice looking van, lots of custom features on it. And what we've been doing is we've just upgraded the brakes. So as you can see we've gone to the 2.5 setup. This is actually a 1.9 van, but we've gone to the 2.5 setup, which are vented discs, a bigger caliper. Now it has to go to a 65 offset instead of the 55 offset that it was originally. Apart from that, it's quite a straightforward job. Now we've also on the rear of the van, we've gone from the drum setup to the rear disc conversion. What's involved with this is you have to change the rear arm to suit the rear discs. And as was there, as you can see, we've given it all a paint up and a clean up, and we've fitted poly bushes to the back of it just to make it more rigid and handle better. So that's one thing that you might need to think about. Like I said, the original brakes, they're not dangerous, but they're not as good as they should be. So just bear that in mind if you're buying an earlier T4. As we're just out giving this test run now, after fitting the, uh, the new bigger brake kit and the rear discs conversion, I'm just gonna I've already give it a quick run round just to bed them in. Um, we can tell you the braking distance. Hold on, Kev. It's oh. night and day. It's 
stops like a supercar now before they were a bit bit wavy but now it's absolutely spot on really good just inspires confidence so now all you gotta do Kev is sort your engine out to make your brakes mate yep yeah nice big engine in there and you've got the stopping power to stop it now this is a 1.9 non-turbo non so it does lack a little bit as you're about to see we're, we're about to take a big hill brake system how is it Kev? Absolutely phenomenal. Big improvement? Yeah don't feel like it's got wooden brake pads anymore. Right show us then. Ooh, okay, no. Yeah <laughs> they work. <laughs> so there you go folks you got an old van that's the way to do it it's not a cheap conversion though huh? how much money do you reckon it's cost you then to sit? Um, I would have said 350 quid invested in it. Yeah, but for but this. The polybush route is most expensive. And you polybush the rear end. Yeah. So you're talking 100 quid over 30 quid standard rubber bushings. But the feel but it's is loads a, better, isn't it? Loads to less roll on the back end. It stops like it never has before. It's pretty much supercar performance. I know that's a big statement to make, but my God, it does stop well, doesn't it? Oh God, yeah. So there you go, folks. It's the way to go if your brakes are a bit woolly. But like I said before, especially on these early T4s, the braking system is not great. But there you go, that's how you do it. <laughs> 